Good morning and half a day. Today I'm gonna go and get some horse stall mats from the tractor supply company store that's here in San Diego. Actually it's in El Cajon. So we're gonna drive there, get some stall mats for the gym, the home gym that we just bought, and I'm gonna set everything up today. So may, hopefully I can get a workout in. But uh, first we have to go to, uh, we're gonna go check out this coffee place called uh, Crimshaw Coffee House, or just Crimshaw, I'm not sure what the name is. We're gonna go there first, get some Vietnamese coffee, and then we'll go to get some stall mats. Yeah, I'll see you after the coffee. How's the bagel? It's going good. It's good? Thanks for driving me here. You're welcome. Look at that coffee though. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Stall mats! Okay, I just put down the stall mats and now I have to set up squat rack and basically unbox everything so um you can see me doing that and i'll show you what i ordered in my home gym setup so uh, stay tuned see you later everything's out of its boxes now i have to do some assembly then afterwards i'll show you what it was exactly that i purchased so, Fringe, got this set from Fringe Sports, gave me a instruction manual on how to assemble. So, there's all of these parts. So now I'm going to try and assemble this. Alright guys, I'm now finished, and this is my gym setup. So I'll take you through it. It only took about maybe two hours if you watch some of the uh, the time lapse that I did. Uh, pretty quick. Uh, I just it was a little bit of a learning experience because there's some things about the garage that is really hard to uh, maneuver, especially, and I had to figure out which way was the best way to put um, the squat stand in. So let me take you through what I got and what I figured out. Okay, and right here we have uh, the weight setup. So I bought the, um, it's like a partner weight setup from Fringe. It came with two barbells, one's for the wife, one's for me. Uh, 20 kilo, 15 kilo barbells. Um, came with two sets of like a strap collar for the weights. But I actually decided to get a pair of Oso uh, also um, collars because I heard they're great. Um, the total weights is about 265. I have a pair of 10s, a pair of 25s, two pairs of 45s, two five pound weights, and two two and a halfs. So um, not a bad, um, not a bad package. Uh, and here's the squat stand with a pull-up bar. Uh, so the pull-up bar actually has a little bit of wiggle, um, but you can add some weights to the back here to steady it. Uh, so you have like a little pole thing to add some bumper plates or other kind of weights. Also they recommend that if you're having too much movement, uh, put some sandbags on the, um, on the floor. So uh, you can put some sandbags on these legs and stabilize the, the weight. So some of the issues I came, I came in when assembling uh, the rack is initially I wanted against this wall. So this wall right here would have been great. Uh, there's no light in the way at the top. So if I wanted to do um, higher like pull-ups at the very top, I could. Uh, but I but the legs came out to right about I want to say about here. Uh, so because the um, the legs were coming right around here, I had to figure out what I was going to do about 
Net cons are required clean and jerks or snatches because uh, as you can tell, there's a lot of things on the ceiling, especially like up here. So you have the garage door. And if I like clean and jerk, I'm afraid I'm gonna, the weights, the barbell, plus the bumper plates are gonna hit anything up here. So I had to focus on um, primarily doing any kind of Metcon in this area. But because of the squat rack and the height and the legs, I, I didn't know what I was gonna do. Uh, so I came with a comp with an idea. I'm gonna see how it works for now. I will do a couple of workouts and uh, we'll see if that's okay. Uh, let's see if it works out space-wise. Um, was to put the um, squat stand right here. And then if I do uh, clean and jerks or any kind of metcons, I'm gonna do it right on these uh, horse stall mats. Because if I do jerks, I'm not gonna hit, at least the bar will not hit the uh, top of the garage door and the weights will not hit the top over here. So I think it would be okay um, space-wise. Uh, if I have to, I will close this garage door. And with this garage door closed, um, I will have essentially a lot more room because I, the barbell is not wide enough to hit the garage door, um, the garage door sides. The only problem is if there's like a run involved. I'm gonna see if I can like pull the garage door down like halfway maybe and so I, like if I have to do a run then I'll just, I can just duck under the duck under the um duck under the garage door if it's like halfway so uh hopefully that works out that'd be okay but um super excited to get to use all this equipment everything that's here uh I'm thinking about getting like like just regular soft soft mats not horse stall mats to put on the sides to put the weights and everything else I'll probably store like the 45s on the ends um on the ends of the squat rack like right over there so that i can have some kind of weight when i do pull-ups but um other than that everything um everything's pretty good Just kind of excited to kind of want to work out i haven't done a cross the real cross workout since we got here so um i think this is going to be a good investment for us and uh, hopefully you guys get to see some workouts to do Okay guys, um, I'm not doing my regular ending inside of the, the room I play in. I'm just going to uh, end it here. I'm actually gonna go work out. I'm not gonna record it because I don't want to be I don't want to be embarrassed about it. I haven't really worked out in a couple of days or not days but months. Really worked out. I'm gonna try to restart my programming and see how it goes. But uh, see you guys later. Deuces.